Keep your back straight as much as you can. Chin up. Gently close your eyes. Take few deep, long breaths and relax your whole body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes. Observe all of the different parts of your body individually and see if they are relaxed, free of tension or strain. Anywhere you find tension or strain, concentrate your mind on that area and allow it to release and relax. Experience relaxation and peace. Feel harmony with your body. Feel close to yourself. Now send your loving thoughts towards yourself, thinking, may I be well, may I be happy. May I be peaceful. Understand the meaning of each word clearly and deeply. Then repeat it to yourself. I know most of you come to the temple regular basis. Maybe you repeat these three words so many times. The day you started to repeat those three words, day you repeat today, What is the difference you see in you? Every day when you are repeating those three words, your realization, your wisdom you receive is different. Which means your practice getting better. Repeating those three words, we are setting our intention for our spiritual journey, for our practice. Because self-love is a foundation for our spiritual journey. Without self-love, there is no spiritual journey. That is our foundation. To build our home, we have to put the strong foundation that is self-love. May I be well, may I be happy, may I be peaceful.
Now instead of me, you can say, I am well, I am happy, I am peaceful. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, right now, in this present moment, I am well, I am happy, I am peaceful. Now send your loving thoughts towards your family. May all of my family members be well, be happy, be peaceful. My parents, grandparents, whether they are here in this world or not, still you can practice loving kindness because we have memories with them. <coughs> My brothers and sisters, my children, grandchildren, husband, wife, whoever you call family, think of them. May they be well, may they be happy, may they be peaceful. Now send your loving thoughts towards whole world. May all living beings, human beings, non-human beings. Lots of pain around the world. Fear, worries. War in Ukraine, people in Ukraine, people in Russia and also other parts of the world. People are in fear. We cannot do much, but still we can send our loving thoughts. It's a good practice for all of us. May they be well. May they be happy. May they be peaceful. May they be free from pain, free from suffering, free from animosity. May all find peace, safety and protection.
Now slowly turn your attention to your breath. Every breath you take in, you take out, is taken mindfully. Focus on your natural, ordinary breaths. Mind wanders, that is the nature of the mind, therefore don't go against it. When you experience thoughts, feelings, emotions rising in your mind, be aware about them, no need to react to them. Three things will happen. <clears throat> you experience their rising, they are existing, staying for a while in your mind, then they are ceasing or passing away. That is the nature of everything in life happening existing and passing away. So my question is, just wait, be patient, why bother? When you react to them, you are creating a problem, challenge. Letting go is the best practice ever.
you want to change your posture, <clears throat> please change at any time. Please be kind to your physical body. It is okay to change. Meditation is not a punishment. Observe your mind, observe your body, your body is relaxed, your mind is calm, tranquil and peaceful. Make a strong determination to practice meditation every day, regularly, with diligence and patience. Understand how important this meditation practice. Keep yourself well, happy peaceful and balanced. May peace be with you. May you be well. May you be happy. May you be peaceful. Thank you very much. Please open the eyes. <coughs> now we are going to do our chanting. What is the page? Page number four. Namo tasse bhagavato arehato samma sambuddhasse Namo tasse bhagavato arehato samma sambuddhasse Namo tasse Bhagavato Arehato Samma Sambuddhasse Buddhang Saranang Gachami Dhammang Saranang Gachami Sangang Saranang Gachami Tiyampi buddhang saranang gachami Dutiyampi dhammang saranang gachami Dutiyampi sangang saranang gachami Tatiyampi buddhang saranang gachami Tatiyampi dhammang saranang gachami Tatiyampi sangang saranang gachami Anicca vata sankara Uppad vaya dhammino Uppad jitva nirujjanti Te sang upa samusuko Sambhe Santa Avera Hontu Sambhe Santa Abhya Pajya Hontu Sambhe Santa 
ಅನಿಗಂತು ಮನೋಪುಂಬಂಗಮ ಮನೋಸೆಟ್ಟ ಮನೋಮಯ ಮನಸ ಪದುಟ್ಟೇನ ಭಾಸತಿ ವಾಕರೋತಿ ವಂದುಕ ಮನ್ವೇತಿ ಚಕ್ಕಂವಹಾಪದ ಮನೋಪುಂಬಂಗಮದ ಮನೋಸೆಟ್ಟ ಮನೋಮಯ ಮನಸ ಪಸನ್ನೇನ ಭಾಸತಿ ವಾಕರೋ ತುಖ ಮನ್ವೇತಿ ಅನಪಾಯಿ we believe my wish Okay, happy to see you all this evening um there are few words um one word is a holistic life uh other word is spirituality uh meditation mindfulness those words are very trendy in this society right now and also those words are very expensive so some places um people pay lot to talk about those words and understand those concepts uh yesterday evening uh after one month of traveling <laughs> i was relaxing my evening um somebody called me i don't know this person uh she said one of her friends wants to talk to me then i asked her do you know me she said no you know somebody was talking about you one of my friends that's why i am contacting you one of my other friends going through a little difficult time right now he wants to be spiritual he wants to learn meditation therefore we need your help so then i said you know 
Thursday night I'm doing online class and maybe you, you know, both can join to that group. So then that lady said, no, we need the personal time. So then I said, okay, if somebody is interested to do that, I will do that. Just not for me right now, for my friend. So then that friend also, I don't know, no idea who is that person. So I felt maybe this is my time to help this person. So then I made an appointment today, this morning, around 10. Uh, they are living in New York City. So then I was sitting with this person 45 minutes on Zoom. You know, I was teaching and talking about the meditation and listening to his um, problems. Uh, it's very interesting, the first question, because I don't know about this person, I want to have a little bit more information about the person before I give my wisdom. So then I ask, what you are looking for in having this meeting with me? What is your intention? Then he said, I want to be spiritual. I want to be spiritual. So, now I have a question. I am not only the person talking today, you have to talk too. <laughs> okay, so I am giving you some time to talk. So, when, I, when you hear the word spiritual, as an American person, local person, because we are foreigners, because this is our second language. So, when you hear the word spiritual, what is the message? What is your definition? How do you understand it? I want to learn, that's why I'm asking. Todd, because he is one of the seniors of the temples and, you know, practicing long years and the Buddha's teaching. What is your definition? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Anybody else? Spiritual? I think that person just had a religious experience in a you know, church or a synagogue uh-huh. and has found that unfulfilling. It still has a yearning for understanding the creator of the universe and, okay. and whatever okay. it is, but doesn't want to do it uh-huh. in a formal way. Okay. Thank you so much. Anybody? Right, okay. Everything. Wonderful, wonderful. Anybody else? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Everything is okay. Anybody else? Okay. So then I was so interested about the word. Um, then I was kind of digging to this word a little bit today. <laughs> and I found very interesting thing. Um, the origin of the word is coming from the spirit and spiritual and come from the same, you know, the same origin. So, then they are talking about the spirit. So, ancient Greek tradition, you know, say they use the word spirit for the breath. That's what I found today. I really like it. I really like it. All Greek tradition, they use the word spirit, uh, you know, use as a breath. So now I really like that definition. That's why I was asking. So the spirit and spiritual, so come from the, you know, you go and Google a little bit, you know, dig into that road. You know, this is what I got today. And I really like that spirit as a breath. So that means our spirituality, everything you said, all are correct. Everything is related to this word. So now, here in this society, people looking for spiritual life. This man, this morning from New York City, he's so into meditation practice. We had a really good time. He wants to be spiritual. Then I was thinking, what is that means to me? When somebody say, I want to be spiritual. 
Sometime, you know, I found a couple of other people. They call, I'm very spiritual, Bhante. <laughs> then I experienced, last few weeks, I was traveling four trips. I did one shot, you know, going around the country. And so then people said, I'm very spiritual. Then they are doing all the drugs. I saw that. <coughs> they do all the substance. They are doing all the harmful things. But still they call themselves spiritual. So that's why I'm so confused because as you said, Todd, it's a, you know, the widely using this word for so many things. So <laughs> I have to tell all those things because these are my life experience when I'm traveling. I go to many different places, many different groups and people telling me certain things. And um, somebody asked me, um, to join to a group and they are loving people. They are so wonderful people. They are, I cannot remember the word, name, they are drinking or smoking something. Right? So then I ask, what is the purpose? So then we become so spiritual. So then I said, I asked that person, how do you feel when you do those things you are so spiritual? Then he said, we are kind of floating. I said, get into an airplane. Then you can float, no problem, get into the boat. <laughs> you can float if you want to do that. No need to do something, substance to floating. That's what is spiritual. They said, no, you have to come and experience. Then, then he said, he's really pushing me to you know, come and join. Right? And then he said, I feel I'm out of my body, out of my mind. That's what I call spiritual. I said, for me, no way. <laughs> if I am spiritual, I want to manage my own mind. I want to manage my own body. I don't want to be out of my mind. Make sense? So, I was having um, uh, kidney stones. So, one day, they had to remove it surgically. So what they are doing, they are giving medication, what is called, uh, yeah, anesthesia, right? Anesthesia, anesthesia. So when I'm waking up from anesthesia, I felt I am not in my mind, not in my body. Then I was, you know, monks were driving me home. I was funny, I was talking, and everything is okay. After I go there, I was sleeping. After I wake up, I cannot remember what I did. So one day, I had the experience. This is my own experience, right? So because of those drugs and medication, then after that, you know, surgery or whatever, I went home. I felt I want to have a um, warm bath. I filled the hot water into the, my bathtub. Then I was thinking I want to feel my body the warm, you know. So then I... Just fill the hot water, you know, the bathtub. I tried to get into the water. I felt I am sinking, I am drowning. I got so much fear in my head. I couldn't handle it because I was under medication. Then within a second, I get out from the bathtub. I felt I am drowning. Even I didn't fully get into the bathtub. So then I called the monks, I said, something wrong. <laughs> something wrong. So now, sharing this experience, what is that means? I am not in my awareness. I am not managing myself. I am out of control. So, outside sources. So, when you get into the spiritual path, I think you have to be your own mind, not out of your body or out of your mind. If you are out of your mind, that is hallucination. So if, you know, one day another person called me when I'm coming home after one of my workshop and she called me, Bhante, I have something to tell you. I'm very excited about it. I said, what is that? Last night I was doing meditation. She's a regular to the temple. I didn't see her. I, I don't think she's here in the today. And so I had to make, even she's here, I'm totally fine. And so, 
She called me, Bhanti, last night I had a great experience. I asked, what is that? Last night, end of my meditation, I heard the voice. I heard the voice. Somebody is talking to me. I was keep listening. Then I realized, that is your voice. Last night, during my meditation, Bhante Sujati is talking to me. <laughs> then she is so excited about it. Then she asked me, did you call me, you know, did you talk to me last night? I said, no, I didn't talk to you last night. I don't have that superpower. <laughs> then I kind of calculate my time. Even I want to have, even I had a thought about her. Actually, I was very busy the time she was talking about. I didn't have any thought, any feeling about this woman, but she heard my voice. Then she, I asked, what did you hear? You gave me a Dharma talk. I said, wow, I don't have that power, but you heard it. You know, in that moment, if I want to use this experience for my own benefit, I can use it. <laughs>